gotta get America in the frame. Otherwise, what's the point? Freaking madness. I swear to goodness. It's madness. I, it's people. I see people are in the chat, but what do I? Man, I swear, 10 o'clock is not late enough. I need to do this at like 3 o'clock in the morning when everybody's asleep. <sighs> there we go. Oh, a little behind the scenes. See how long it takes me to clip this thing on there. Seven hours. Let's see. Fizzling would work would be a miracle it would be a miracle they say for me to walk again and talk again but anyway and everything set game to reality how do I manage this thing finish if people are watching this I'm sorry it's just this is what you get this is what you get come on come on Come on, come on, turn the radio on. Oh, does anybody, can anybody hear me? Can anybody hear me? Trev Wilson hears everything. Well, that doesn't mean any much because I don't know if he's actually serious or if he, he might actually hear everything. Let's get crunk tonight, says Nick Foles. Can't do that. Got my wife sitting right next to me just staring at me. Sup, Maddie Matt? Michael Klein's up in the house. Tim gorgeous. Tim gorgeous. I whiskey she wines up in here. It's Sam. Sam, my wife's here. No flirting. She actually saw um, you on a live the other night and she's like, she's your type. That's just what? It's just, just a wife thing, I guess. Dramhound's in the house. Dramhound. What's going on, buddy? Piper's in the house. Loud and clear. Nice. Eric Eric L is in the house. Car Ramrod, we like to say. Terry D, DJ Beacon, Trev Wilson. Still here. Probably be here for a while. Oh boy, I got a uh, just a Labrador retriever just going nuts on my on my hand. Wheels. Wheels is in the house. I don't I've never seen wheels in the chat before. Peter White, Victoria C, the early squad. Let's see who was here first. Richie Z was here way early. Richie Z, thank you for just hanging out in no man's land. Uh, so what's going on tonight, everybody? What's everyone drinking? What is everybody drinking? Michael Klein's probably drinking Blanton's. That's my guess. That's Piper, I love you. This is getting worse and worse with you, isn't it? Just worse and worse. It's okay. You can get down, though. Do you want some whiskey tonight? You want Weller? Okay. She's getting Weller. Hey, let's start to a YouTube channel. She just took my, she took my microphone off. This is just how it's gonna work. Ah. This is non-chill filtered, uncut, straight from the, the craziness of my home. It's cool. Now I'm not gonna put the microphone back on, take me another four hours. Oh boy, this is, I think I might use Patreon money, thank you to all my patrons by the way, to get a new microphone, because this microphone is driving me crazy. It still, still can't get it on there, that's what she said. <gasps> Might just be here all night. Matt versus the microphone. There, that's as good as it's gonna get. Oh boy, eagle rare for Eric Lintola. Should have went with the McKenna, buddy. Just kidding. I love you. Mash and drums in the house. Mash and drums famous. Fred Minnick was in the Mash and drums live stream the other night. Just hanging out. Weird. It's just weird. 
Bourbon Sane's in here. What's going on, everybody? I got 25 people watching me try to figure out a lavalier microphone. I think that's what it's called, a lavalier. Lavalier, lava lamp. Most important thing is that those mics is make sure they're turned on or plugged in because they don't work if they're not plugged in. So I just got home from, went on a date with my wife, kinda. We just got back, picked up the kiddos from grandma's house and now we're ready to rock and roll. I've got some business to get down to. Some business, they say. Some business. Piper is a mystery. She doesn't want to go outside. She doesn't want to treat. She might just want whiskey. All right, got A, th whoops. A through E here. That's part of the alphabet we're sticking to the bottom of these glasses. Uh, next one should be Piper Proof. Drinking some Russell's Reserve. Tim Gorgeous is drinking some Russell's Reserve. You drinking the the 10 year or the the old single barrel? Moe's Chun's up in here. 101 Eagle Rare and E.H. Taylor. What's going on with my phone? Why is it buzzing? Nobody texts me ever. Unless I'm doing a live stream. In which case, debt collectors just start texting. <sighs> They're brutal. Jason Burnett. Jason Burnett. I'm lot you I use my phone for this. That's the third one in a row. You're just gonna keep on going. This is gonna be fine. Today's been an S show. I was a couple minutes late and I'm totally unprepared. And, and Big Tuna. And who? Big Tuna. Man, okay. You guys gotta stop texting. It's terrible. I have the attention deficit problem, so if my phone is buzzing and I'm trying to talk, it doesn't work. Just gonna be a miserable failure. 24 viewers, we lost one because of all my mammer jammering. Bourbon lens is in the house. Hey guys, freaking bourbon lens. They're getting the beagle rare soon over at the bourbon lens. The bourbon lens. This is what we're doing tonight. Um, this is in the middle of a story and then completely forgot uh oh yeah i went to go use my streaming software wasn't working my camera it wouldn't even show an image because my software got updated apparently the app updated and just destroyed destroyed all the goodness that was going on so i had to spend valuable time troubleshooting now you've got a flustered mat and a flustered mat is a mat who's ready to get crumped up let's do this Robot Scott, it's India calling you. He, he probably is. I'm sick of answering those phone calls. I never know what they're saying. Bourbon Lens is just working on a podcast and drinking some Buffalo Trace Mash Bill 1 mashup. Is that like an infinity blend? Okay, let's pour some, pour some drinks, shall we? Now, I did get a piece of paper, so I know which, what's, what's in what here. So when, the, when I first made the Beagle Rare, the Beagle Rare, I sent it over to the Bourbon Junkies and they sampled it. And they agreed that they would pay $60 for a bottle of Beagle Rare, Kentucky Howl. So it got to thinking, this is a totally... Totally, what's the word? Uh, when you have original idea. Ah, it took a while. It's Beagle versus the field. It's never, nothing like this has ever been done before. I'm gonna pour Beagle Rare in one of these glasses and then I'm gonna pour other bourbons that are similar in proof and price. And I'm gonna see if Beagle Rare is better than any of these buggers. America. All right. What? Jesus, mother. It's good. It's good. Told you I'm flustered, my word. Weller Antique is going in E. Because that makes sense. Ah, getting my pores monitored already. Totally cool. 
It's just to pour, it's not a drink, right? Am I right? E is antique, because that makes sense. Why does it make sense? Because there's an E, there's two E's in it actually. Weller. Oh, Forster 1920. I'm gonna have to have some help with these. Is in D. Because it's old, old, old D for old Forster. 1920. C will be Baker's. Because it's discontinued America. That's a big one. That's what she said. <laughs> hmm, these are. Pores are gonna get me in trouble. Literally. <laughs> and the beagle, the beagle. It's on there so good, it's sealed with it's sealed with emotion. America. <sighs> Beagles and B. Bee. <sighs> How can I remember that? These pores are big. Beagle is in B. There's a little bit, I've got some more where this came from. I only allowed myself so much that I could use before the end. So there's more, but I'm, I'm almost out of my rations. What we got? America. Peerless is an A. Need a little more, just a boop, boop, boop. Picked this little song hitch up in Kentucky while I was in Kentucky. The other 200 milliliter. More, com more companies should do that. More companies should make little bottles so you don't have to spend a hundred dollars on a full blown bottle of this because it might not be good. Or it might be good. You'd think if they offered it in a small bottle, it's got to be good. Otherwise, what's the point? <gasps> Bourbon junkies. Those are some Matt pours, said Bourbon Junkies. Told you Matt's back. But I have some supervision, so. Supervision, are you ready? My supervision is gonna come and mix up. She's gonna, she's gonna mix. She's gonna mix the, so I don't know what's what. Okay, sit your butt down and do it. Do it like I showed you. Do it like I show, whoops, I dropped the mic again. I know I didn't show you anything. So uh, I'm gonna go take care of the child. You spin him around, make the people laugh. There's, there's 29 people in here, make them giggle. Say a joke. Nope, oh, you're not supposed to show, you're not supposed to sh do it while I'm standing here. Hmm. Look at this, look at, look at, look at, look at, just, we gotta go take care of the kid. Boom. All right, mix him around, mix him around. Say words. Can't. Say hi. Mm -mm. Say. Say boo. Jason tells me to drink it. Say anything. <laughs> I can't. Don't break stuff. I can't be live. I'm just mixing these because. You're a natural, babe. Okay, I'm done. That's what she said. You are lucky you're pretty. <clears throat> Just joking. I'm lucky you're pretty, to be honest, because I don't deserve you. That's my mistress. And I'm assuming you mixed these up, correct? Like you said, you mixed them up, okay. You didn't mix them up? I mixed them. You mixed them, okay. Hopefully she mixed them up. Richie Z says, your wife is cute. It's 
But as far as we're going to go there, yeah, I know she is. She's the best. Sometimes she lets... Never mind. <laughs> Eek. 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 I'm still going to mix them up myself. Because guess what? It's what we do. It's what we do. Just mixing them all around. Jason Burnett says, Chris has never said she was done. God damn it. I read that out loud. I got to start reading things to myself before I read them out loud. <sighs> she has said it. I don't know if she's told the truth, but she said it. So. All right. This is Beagle versus the field. DJ Beacon, don't forget to move the bottles around too, ADHD fishing. Good idea. We almost forgot the most important. If we're gonna do it blind, we should probably There, now I have no idea. No clue. No idea. I am thirsty. <sighs> Eric Lintel says I'm in trouble. Probably. Peter White says your wife appears to be out of your league. Yeah, we call that playing above the rim. Way above the rim. Oh boy. Dark Meat Chicken says laugh out loud at the mash and drum. What, do, what did Mash and Drum say? Oh my, it's Mrs. Charter. <laughs> That's what he said, yep. And then we laughed. And it was funny. This one smells good. I know I'm going to like all these because I like them all. If I had to put them in order of what I think is going to go from best to worst, I would say my favorite has got to be 1920. That's going to be my favorite. And then either Baker's Probably them bakers, because I do like bakers. And then it's gonna be either between Antique or Peerless. And I'm assuming Beagle Rare is gonna come in dead last because, well, it was the first release of Old Charter, Old Charter's Distillery. Sometimes you just gotta let it get some air, right? Everybody, if you got a drink in your hand, let it get some air. Come on, let it get air. You're just sitting around. Come on, let them get air. Everybody. I think I... Is that my microphone again? This is brutal. I haven't even taken a drink yet. I got kids screaming. I got dogs whining. I got people hitting on my wife. I'm going to start doing cleavage thumbnails. You know, the old clickbait. Okay, but that's got to stay that time. I don't even know if this is the same one I smelled before. Man, I got kids just yelling. It's way past their bedtime. Ernmeister's up in there. I don't know how late we're going to go tonight. We could pull an on lighter. If that actually happens, then just leave when it's time. Just leave when it's time. You, you'll know when. Spin those Glencairns and Copitas. These are actually whiskey scotch tasting glasses because it's the only thing that my town has that is even reminiscent, reminiscent, relevant, remin, reminiscent, you know what I mean, of a Glencairn. So they all have to be identical, otherwise I'd know what's in what because I poured them. This smells good. Red fruits, strawberries, razzleberries, Snazzleberries, white vanilla, a little oak, a little bit of oak, not a lot of oak. This smells like it could be really anything. I'm thinking this, that might be the beagle You're on the nose. You never know. You never know. I don't know why I had her number these if I'm not going to put them in order. It's like sometimes I think, sometimes I don't. Most of the time I do and it just doesn't connect. Kind of like. That's definitely a word. Ernmeister is not... I'm not leaving you to pass out. Nobody would ever pass out on a whiskey live stream. Never happened. Never will. Find me some proof. You see, you can't. Thank goodness for the delete button. 
Hmm. This one smells a little bit different. This one smells more tobacco-y. Little, little darker, darker fruits. Darker toots. Hmm. This one smells glorious, magnificent, wonderful, amazing. I'll save other words for other glasses in case I need to use words that mean good for those ones. Mmm, that smells awesome. Does it have an oaky afterbirth? Mm. Yep. It aged in oak for minimum nine months. Then it was born via, via cesarean... Okay, this one doesn't smell like much. I'm thinking Fred Minnick's probably gonna pop in my chat one day to get some tasting notes notes. He was probably underwhelmed with the Master Drum's ability to say tasting notes. This one smells hmm. Like a like an apple peel. Like you just smelled an apple at the store and it still has the waxiness on it. And it's got the sticker with the PLU, PLU 4677. And you pick it up and you're like, yeah, apple, getting some apple. The mouth experience, we haven't got to the mouth experience yet, mash and drum, pay attention, we're on the nose experience. And the nose experience is good. I'm happy to have Matt back. That Matthew guy was boring and needed to be punched in the face. Still no sips, just smelling. We're 23 minutes in, nothing on the palate yet. Buckle up, bitches. Hmm. That smells. Also getting a little bit of tobacco. A little tobacco. Hmm. Some, some oak on there too, a little. Like maybe some, some red grapes. Red grapes, apple peel, oaky. Little tobacco. It's like an apple peel tobacco. Stellar Matrix is in the house. Hey, Stellar Matrix. How's it going? What are you drinking tonight? Huh? Anything good? Or just the old, just the old stuff that's not good? I'm not as witty as I want to be tonight. Just not coming together. It's okay. We'll get there. We'll get there. Mmm. Smells a little astringent. Maybe, maybe not the best smelling one of the bunch. Sometimes you gotta get your nose right in there. Hmm. This one needs to be swirled some more. You gotta spin it like a DJ. DJ Bourbon Spinner is my name on stage. Pick a pick a pick a pick a bourbon. Pick a pick a bourbon. Pick a pick a pick a pick a bourbon. Smell it. What are, you, are you guys getting any? I have an enraged child. What was I saying? Oh yeah, do you guys get anything on the nose? Anything good? Anything good? Maybe a little closer. Get your nose right in. Hmm. Like a blue, no, not really. A, like a blackberry. Like a blackberry? Oh. You know those Haribro? Raspberries, they're fake because they're candy, but they sort of taste like you'd think a raspberry candy should taste, and they're also textured like a raspberry. This smells like one of the black ones. Mm. I like it. I like it. All right, let's see what's up in here. This one feels lighter. Is it going to be lighter on the nose? Ooh, that's a little different. Maybe a little nutty. Maybe a little slutty. Oh, no. Yeah, ooh, you know what? I'm getting a fruitiness and a nuttiness. A fruitiness and a nuttiness. This, I'm not a doctor. We've been over this. This smells like bakers. I'm not a magician, nor a practitioner, but this smells like bakers. It's, a, it's, like, a, it's like a peanut. And it's like you got, it's like you're scooping peanut butter inside of a flower shop. Like you went to go buy your wife an arrangement at the old arrangement store. And you were like, 
What kind of stems do you have? And she, the lady behind the counter, I'm assuming it was a she, she says, We have many options that your wife will find delightful. And, Sir, what are you doing? And then you're just scooping peanut butter. Scooping it. And you're like, excuse me. It's time for my, not my polyunsaturated fats. Yep. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go in on the taste on this one because I want to I want to be so sure. Man, that smells good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. That's my first sip of the day of the old the old whiskers. Nuts. A delicious nut. Like a like a honey roasted nut dipped in peanut butter. Ooh, dipped in almond butter. Just saying. Mm, the mouth experience is very good on this one. I would say that this is delightful. Delightful, they say. I like it. That is in first place so far. Mm. 37 people watching this nonsense. 38. Bless you. God bless you for just having nothing else to do. I picked Friday nights to do this. Maybe not the best night. But at least 38 people are like, it's a good night for us. If I switch nights, in my head I'm like, there'd probably be 7,000 people in here if I did it on a Tuesday. But I think the reality is most people are like me and don't have anything to do on Friday. That's not true. That's just what I tell myself to survive. To keep going, they say. To keep motoring, to keep scooting. This smells good. Do I have water nearby? I do not. I should have some water because I have five large glasses of whiskey. When the pretty lady comes back downstairs, I'll request that she gather some water. Some hydrogen, some oxygen, you never know what she'll get. OG Brick says, at the end, I'll send you out some samples to people like you and ADHD, Sean. Yeah. I, have no, I should probably read the chat more because I don't know what you guys are talking about when I feel left out. Victoria C is telling everybody to go home. Nothing to see here. Homebodies. That's a cool... Homebodies, like people who kind of hang out at home. But that's kind of a cool name to call your friends. What's up, homebody? Wow. That's completely different. Higher proof, I feel. Also very good. Uh, deer? Can you grab me a water bottle, please? I asked her if she does it. I would like ADHD versus Fred Minnick for the ultimate blind tasting matchup. I agree. Ascot versus asshole. Let's line it up. Let's do it. Let's do it, Fred Minnick. She got me two waters because she knows. This tastes higher proof. I'm getting a leather on there. A leather and a tobacco. Mmm. If I had to guess, with my super, super senses, I would say that might be the old Forester. Could be. You never know. You never know until you know. And we won't know until we know. Oh, but which one do, do I like that one better than this? Strange, because this one was a darker, darker... Darker fruits and leather and like a baseball glove stuffed with alcohol and and bubble gum. Kinda. Like a like a baseball glove flavored bubblegum. Yep. But do I like it better than this? I don't know. They're both very good. I just don't know. I think we will that's gonna be a battle. It's gonna be a battle of the bourbons. The bourbon junkies are pretty legit. One of them's pretty legit for sure. 
the other ones <clears throat> the other one's Sean this smells good too hmm Hmm. Oh, way lighter. Way lighter on the everything. Hmm. Okay. Ooh, maybe a little bit of a weird peanut on the end. Hmm. Question. I know that I'm a professional blind taster and a judge, but, but, but. Will natural spring water affect the flavor of the bourbon that I'm drinking? Like, is it gonna give? Is it gonna throw the taste off? Because I feel like it might. I did a I did a blind tasting with the bourbon junkies from my basement when I was in timeout, and I drank a lot of water during that tasting, and I feel like the water threw off my tasting. And just these two were good. Drank some water. This one not as good. It's either Beagle Rare or water tainted it and stuff. Huh. So yeah, smash the like button. That'd be super duper. How you do that from a mobile phone, if you're wondering, is you have to exit out of the live chat, then you have to hit the thumbs up and then enter back in the live chat. I know because I spend 97% of my days watching live streams about whiskey. You guys are jealous? Don't blame me. Team Dan, yeah, if anyone's on Team Sean, it's got to be a lonely team, a team full of negativity, a team full of despair, discouragement, trapped away from the sunshine, thinking about maybe one day getting to play a Sega Genesis. A little better. But still, that's not that good. Okay. Ew. Ew. That's got to be Beagle Rare. That's definitely... That's got to be Beagle Rare. Zauza. Not happy about that. Ugh. I mean, I know that Beagle... Okay. I never tasted Beagle Rare with other stuff. The only time I've ever sipped it is if I'm sipping Beagle Rare. And I was like, that's kind of good. Never have I had it alone. That must be Beagle Rare because that is not good. I gotta say. And these two were very good. Maybe I should have had that before those. Don't know. We'll see. Let's go into this one. Hmm. Ooh, 43 viewers watching an obese man sip bourbon. I love all 43 of you. You're my people. I will one day share a buffet with all of you, but you better get there before me because I won't share all of it. That's for sure. Okay. Ugh, what the heck? Ew, is it the water? Good grief. All right. So far, yuck. Not happy about that. What could possibly be yuck? The only thing I thought that would taste not good is Beagle Rare. I thought that that had to not be good compared to the rest. But that, whatever's in there, is worse than that. Ew. It's okay. It tastes like I ate a flower, like a like a five petaled white, pink, orange, green, purple, brown flower that was filled with rubbing alcohol. I wonder if that's Weller. I hope not. I'm going to be honest, I have not been thrilled with the Weller Antique. Thought it was going to be better than it is. 
did get some floral on it before when I had it. I told you that water was tainted. It might be tainted. This water might be bad. Don't drink water. Just throwing that out there. Oh shit, did I move it already? Was this the one that I just said was bad? First sip after you have water always tastes diluted. Second and third sips always better. That's coming from the mash and drum who just does friggin' six barrel proof bourbon flights. Then he exits the internet and goes and drives a limousine for limousine.com because he's just a professional. So I'll believe him. Hmm. Okay. Wow, okay, that's... Something strange because what I look for is, some, like, there's really no, no dark notes on this at all. Tastes what I would consider to be young. No, maybe it's the Peerless. The Peerless is four years. Huh. I've only tasted a sip of the Peerless before, so I don't know. This is a mystery. But I'm not a fan at all. Like, I think this is worth, I mean, I'm sure if I had it by itself, it wouldn't be bad. But after I have these two, this and this are not good, comparatively. So to make complete total sense out of everything, I'm gonna drink the one in the middle now because that's the only one left I haven't drank. I don't know why I do stuff in such stupid orders. Matt's wife poisoned him with lethal water. That's why I don't eat vegetables. Poison. I know better. Eat your vegetables, they're healthy. Yeah, right. Definite poison, for sure. Hmm. This smells better. This smells better than those two. I'm, I think I'm back to more dark notes. Like... Hmm. Oh yeah, that's good. I like it a lot. Hmm. Ooh. There's a tingle on the front of the tongue. The tingle on the front of the tongue normally lets me, like, signifies a weeder for me. A weeder. Like, I have to go back for some tasting notes, but I just, that was all mouthfeel thinking. I was thinking what was going on in here. And what I think I got was maybe a weeder. Don't know. Don't know if there'll be enough time for me to drink some more. There will be. <laughs> okay. Let's take a like a light oak. A little bit of brown sugar. Floral too. That's got so two of these are really flowery. Not like flour that you make cookies out of, flour that you make Valentine's Day special out of. Like carnations, but a realer. All right. So far, so far, this is my order, but maybe these two might switch. Don't know. These, these two might switch also. Hard to say. We don't know. We just don't know. I th if I had to guess, if I had to guess, and I'll have to come back and rewatch it because I will not remember this in five minutes. Beagle Rare, Peerless. Although that was super floral. Beagle Rare, Peerless, Weller. Oh, um, Old Forester and Baker's. That's why these two might switch. This was definitely Baker's. That was, I mean, I can't, I can't lie to you. Because I'm, I'm pretty smart when it comes to 
to, to the beam distillery and their, their peanuts. And that tasted nutty, like a nutty broad. Mm. Ooh, ooh. No, two parts hydrogen, that's right. Thought there might have been three parts hydrogen in there, but that would not have been good. Did Mrs. ADHD pick the lineup? Sorry, I missed it. No, so what happened was, um, what I did was, I said, I want Beagle Rare Kentucky Howl, the original blend, the blend that I sent out to the internet. I wanted it to be matched up against other bourbons to see if it could possibly be better than anything else on the market. So I chose a pretty weak, pretty weak lineup here. Not really, chose, chose some bangers, chose some light heavyweights, chose some, chose some bottles we can get in there and scrap for a few rounds. And the reason I chose them is because out of the gate, this was about 109 proof, 108, 109 proof. Bourbon Junkies said that they thought this They'd pay $60 for a bottle of this. So what I did was I chose bottles that were around the same proof as this and also around the same price as this. The only one that is I think more expensive considerably is the Peerless. But I, I, that's more of a... It shouldn't be that expensive. It shouldn't be 100 bucks. Although I get it because marketing and costs that people have to pay. The sip I had of the Peerless when I first opened it, I didn't say that's a hundred dollar bourbon. I said, hmm, okay, I guess we'll see what happens with this. I wasn't too impressed. Now, these two impressed the balls out of me immediately. I am getting warm. That's what's happening. I didn't know. I was starting to slow down a little bit and I didn't know why. Hold on to that for me, little, little glass. Okay. Now I'm better. I'm better now. Thank you. Well, back to the old. Back to the old. Oh my gosh, I'm the dumbest. This condom fell off. The old... I'm sure that sounds just glorious on the other end. It probably sounds so good. You gotta put it on the correct way. Yep, that's it. I still got that money that the bourbon junkies made me when they, they pimped me out. And I still got, I got Patreon money. I got money that I don't know what to do with because I'm in it. Now I know I, I need a new microphone. If anybody has any microphone recommendations, leave a comment or something because I need to know. I don't want to buy junk. Actually, I might need to buy junk because they break stuff. <sighs> Just let me know. Okay, cracking the knuckles. 43 people still here listening to me blab. What if Beagle Rare is better than something? Wouldn't that be cool? It's not. But it could be. I'll tell you what, though. When I went and I did Perry's podcast and I tasted the new version and the old version, when I first tasted the old version, I thought, that's actually pretty good. And it smelled good and it tasted good. And then I tasted the new version and I was like, oh, that's way better. That's so good. That's like, I don't know how it ended up mashing together that well, but it did. And I was pretty impressed. Um, I mean, I don't know how it's going to turn out. I don't know what Dixon's going to do to it. He's probably going to destroy it with gloriousness. We'll see. Who's to say? Who's to say? Okay, I'm going back in. I'm going to go from worst to best. Matt, message me, buddy. I've done a metric shit ton of research on the last three weeks on Mike Lav and Shotgun. <sighs> shotgun. Is it like a football offense? Oh no. Oh, a shotgun microphone is one you put on top of your camera. 
but I use a, a cell phone, so. I need a camera. I need a camera, I need a capture card, I need a microphone. Bourbon Blind, is Bourbon Blind in the house? Bourbon Blind, if you're in the house, um, if Bourbon Blind is in the house, say hello. Because Bourbon Blind reached out to me and made me an offer that can't really, couldn't really refuse. He said if I wanted to try, actually, I'll, if it all comes to fruition, I'll let you know. It doesn't have anything to do with what I just talked about, but something else where I was like, dude, you're the nicest guy ever. All right, going back into the first one here. Emily Chambers. She wants Beagle Rare merch. Yeah, you have to settle for old Charter merch, I think. Because, um... I think if I tried to sell anything that said Beagle Rare on it, that's a little bit of a, a blurry line of um, Eagle Rare and not, that's not something I can do or I'd want to do. The next, uh, the next iteration of Beagle Rare, the next Infinity Bottle, will have more opportunities for things like that. But I don't want to get any letters for trying to make money off of something that has somebody else's artwork logos um stuff on it like that where was i oh yeah hmm okay that's better now still not that great hmm it's okay that's really corny it's very I'm not uh, not a paleontologist or a archaeologist, but I think that is what something tastes like when somebody says that tastes young. This tastes young. Tastes 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 like corn. I do like corn, but when it tastes like corn, it doesn't have all the other flavors that I enjoy, and that tastes like corn. Matter of fact, tastes like corn. I said it. James Glenn says, I'd wear an old Charter Distillery shirt. Oh, this? Okay. I'm terrible at what I do. Literally, if you scroll down in the description of this video, there is a link to my Teespring page. And there are two old Charter shirts on my Teespring. It's literally linked right there. You click on it. There's an old Charter Distillery shirt with Muggsy Beegs. And there's also the totally legit Neighborhood Spirits Competition Double Gold shirt. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. There's two shirts. I'll make more. I'm just not that great at making shirts. Better at making love. Oh, wait. Did someone say my mom is in here or something? No, Baker's is this. This is Baker's. If that's not Baker's, my middle name isn't beautiful. Because that smelled and tasted like any Baker's I ever known and enjoyed. Charter is derived from Chart, which is mind-blowingly funny. Charter is actually derived from Shut, which isn't funny. So yeah, say Chart. That's way better. Okay, we're almost an hour into this and... Oh, gotta go. if you go to the left hand, my right hand was getting like I was gonna have a some sort of medical emergency. Now I'm feeling better. Okay, oh. Weird. It must have been the water because that tastes good. That has much more complexity than that. I'm getting uh, red fruits in there. I, if anybody wants to volunteer, by the way, to be my, what's the word? Um, 
not a treasurer, because treasurer is money, a secretary. If anybody wants to volunteer to be my secretary, let me know, because I can't take these notes. I don't know what I said about this one last time. Being my secretary would be interesting. It's a pretty low paying gig. By low paying, I mean, you'd be confused for free. Red fruits, a little bit of oak, some nuttiness. This might be Beagle Rare. I don't know. It's good though. It's good. Do you like any Booker's bottles? Richie, the, uh, okay. I've only had one batch of Booker's. I know, lame. And I loved it. Uh, it was at a restaurant and it was, um, oh shoot, Kentucky Chew, the Kentucky Chew Bookers. And it was fantastic. My wife actually loved it too. Just, yeah, I, that was a, a really good pour. I've actually had it at that restaurant a couple times. It's so good. But here's the deal. It's 80 bucks for a bottle of Bookers and I can't spend $80 on a bottle of bourbon. I can't do it. Cannot do it. There's those country hams that I've seen floating around and I'm like, oh, I want it so bad. But I can't spend $80 on a bottle of bourbon. Cause that's like, that's like a month of preschool. This one smells really good too. I think we're, because we're going up, we're going up in um, what I liked. Don't effing film video on a Nikon D3000 series. Tried two different models, constant issues with those effers. See the way I edited what you said there, Dan? I used the F, I used, I shortened it to F. Yeah, I keep looking at Facebook Marketplace too to see if I can get a good deal on like a used, I used something or other, but. I'm gonna have to go back through this chat to read what people are saying, cause dang it. People are talking about stuff I'm interested in. I'll tell you what, if anybody is interested and tell your friends uh, tell your wife, tell your friends. They're, they ripping everybody out here. That's, uh, what's his name? From that video. The viral one. I have a drone. I have a, a Mavic Pro drone that I kind of crashed because there was a tree that I didn't see. And I hit the tree with the drone and the drone didn't fly anymore so it kind of fell 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 a ways and um the gimbal the gimbal on the camera of the drone is the only thing that's messed up and i it happened like a year ago and it's it's probably like only a hundred dollar repair long story short if anybody wants to trade a drone for a camera a broken drone drone for a camera or if I get it fixed for a camera, I'm, I'm willing to talk. This one smells so good. Flowers, white flowers, no. Yellow flowers with a brown inside. Yellow flower petals, brown inside. That's what that tastes like. I lost some people with the camera talk. Should probably get back to bourbon. But I think that has, getting the, the tingle on the tip of the tongue again, which reminds me of, of, a, of a, um, a weeded product. Product. Hmm. It smells delicious, it smells glorious. Pretty sure, pretty sure what we're coming down to here is 1920 and Baker's. Now, since I think I know what they are, let's say I know what they are. Now I wanna know which one tastes better. Is it the Old Forester product or the Jim Beam product? And I'll tell you what, I got a bottle of Baker's for like $25 because they were on clearance at a store. And um, I never would've bought a bottle of Baker's. Say that 10 times fast. Never would've bought a bottle of Baker's. Never would've bought a bottle of Baker's. Never would've bought a bottle of Baker's. 
if it wasn't like half price on clearance or less than half price. But it was like one of my favorite bottles I've had. Because it's nutty, florally. It's just a good good pour. Oh yeah. That's higher proof. It's got a oh dark fruits like dates and raisins. Mmm. Tobacco. Yeah. That's like a major league baseball player. Just opened his mouth and you stuck your nose in there and was like. That smells like a major league baseball player player's mouth. That's good. That's I'll have to try this one again, but I'm pretty sure that's the way it's gonna work. We need a ham fund for Matt. A ham fund? I've got ham in my refrigerator. We got a, like, you know what? Cutting up a ham that has a bone in it's kind of a pain in the butt. Just figured that out the other day. We tried to fit it inside of a container to cook it in. It didn't fit, so I had to chop it up. Way more difficult than you would imagine. This is Baker's for sure. The Ernmeister says, fraud to try Baker's. Beam is too peanutty. I think, okay, this, you can't see it. You can't see it. The repeal batch, the Jim Beam repeal batch is like, 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 like peeled peanuts, like not good. Okay. There's a, there's a couple bottles that people recommend, but I'm telling you right now can go jump off a cliff and just break a Jim Beam repeal batch. Not a fan, but even worse, all you people out there who are saying that Evan Williams bottles and bond is a great pour. I don't like you. I still like you, but how that's the most peanutty bad peanuts, not even a good peanut. It's like a bad peanut that just is a hot, bad peanut. And I do not like it. I do not like it. Sam. I am. Go check out this man's Patreon and help him get the shit he needs for this channel. Oh, dude, thank you. That's cool. Thank you, man. That's really nice. I need some stuff. I don't like this. I'm totally happy with like, I don't need any more to be honest. We could just keep going like this, but if I want to grow, I need to eat. If I need to grow my channel, I need some better better camera stuff some some microphones that can really catch my heartbeat my enlarged heart just thumping mm. okay it's weird because as you taste a bunch of different things in different orders things start tasting different and had i not tasted this one first i might not know for sure that it's baker's but I know for sure that it's Baker's because I trust my initial judgment. And I've learned over the past several years to trust my judgment. My judgment says it's good, but it's, it's no this. And this has got to be, got to be 1920. That's really good. There's five bourbons here on the table. We did five of them. I wish I could, I, I made some big pours. So I wish I could share them with all y'all. One day the internet will be like that, where I'm like, hey, I just, scary peeper. I just pour the rest into scary peeper's glass. One day we might see it or we might be dead. It'll happen though. I was doing some checking. You might have seen me say this in the live stream the other night in Virginia. I can get all the bottom and Buffalo Trace products. In Michigan, we can get them to, uh, actually, I don't know what you mean, but by bottom, bottom end, Buffalo Trace, um, Benchmark 8, we can get that. Buffalo Trace itself is plentiful. Eagle Rare here in Michigan is like, not so rare. It's like Eagle Plentiful. Eagle Everywhere. That's what it should be called. Eagle Everywhere. 
10 year. <sighs> Not of the fan of the repeal either, but it's cheap. It's cheap, but like so is other stuff. I think I might rather drink mellow corn than repeal batch. I said it. I said it. What else? What else would I rather drink than repeal batch? Vodka? No. Maybe. Um, oh, you know what? Fighting cock. Fighting cock is the best friggin' $18 bourbon in the world. And if you want to fight me about it, I'll fight you for probably two minutes before I get tired. Fighting cock is delicious. It's 103 proof from Heaven Hill. It used to be six years, not anymore. Probably younger now because they took off the age statement. Threw it away. But it's good. I do like I do like me some fighting cock. You guys ready to get... Ugh, get down to the getting down? I think we should. I think we should find out which one is the best. And then I also want to do a giveaway for um, for something. I was got, I was about to say for the for a some Beagle Rare original blend, but if that comes in last place, which it might, that might not seem like a very good deal. So we'll figure it out here in a second. It'll be running in the background. I'll be thinking about it. All right. If I had to guess, which I'm, which I kind of do, I think that this is. You like fighting here? No, the it, it's just the name of the thing. All right. Since I'm guessing, I think Beagle Rare, Peerless, Weller Antique, Baker's, Old Forester 1920. And if I'm correct, I think I just leveled up to Whiskey Genius. If I'm incorrect, I'm still a genius. Ugh. By the way, is um, I, Mike uh, Bourbon Blind was in the chat. Is Patrick Fulmer in chat? Patrick Fulmer sent me an email earlier that was like the best email. It wasn't even like that long of an email, but he gave me an idea and I was like, you sir are a genius and I love you. So Patrick Fulmer, if you watch this, thanks for the email. I'm going to use your idea and uh, thanks. All right. For last place. I like how repeal was limited edition and still circulating at sub $18. And uh, right, it's everywhere. The only one that I wish I, the whole the old FOMO thing, the distiller's cut. I kind of wanted to get a distiller's cut before it disappeared, but it disappeared and never bought one. But after having the repeal batch, it's probably, probably the same thing. Probably just 100 proof peanuts is what I'm guessing. Okay, that's so young. Okay, corn. Corn is in last place. And last place goes to the letter C, which, if my wife is watching, is the number three. I should have used the numbers better, but I didn't. The letter C is, oh shit. What did I do? <laughs> am, I, am I that dumb? If that's showing up, <laughs> I wrote down D and E and I just didn't write down the rest. <laughs> oh. Wow. All right. Process of elimination. <laughs> if anybody wants to go back to the beginning to let me know what C is. Sure. Okay. D is 1920. E is antique. I think... Oh, I think B was Beagle Rare. I think. Pretty sure. Am I that stupid? Oh, I'm that dumb. I, why, why did I do that? <sighs> okay. 
I know sometimes I play dumber than I am a little bit. I really did not mean to do that. I was genuinely surprised when I looked at the sheet and I just did not label what they were. Son of a mother. I think B was Beagle Rare. And I think A was... Okay, let me think. E was Antique because it had Antique. D was 1920 because it was... I don't know. C... D is Old Forester. A is Peerless. C was Baker's? Are you shitting me? Gosh dang it. Okay. <sighs> D, okay. What's B is Beagle? What's A? A is Peerless. Let me write this down. I am so... B is... I lost it. Thank you everybody who went back to help me because I know that I <laughs> I basically advertise a shit show. Say it's going to be a shit show, but boy oh boy, I never thought that uh, it'd be this big of a shit show. Mashing Drum says, you have a new patron buddy. Dude, thank you. You didn't have to do that crap. That's super awesome, dude. Thank you so much. I... And still, A is peerless, B is beagle rare for sure, yeah, beagle. And C is gotta be bakers. Right, okay. So, C. All right, the first drink I took, I smelled it and I was like, that smells like bakers. And then I drank it and I was like, that tastes like bakers. And I thought this was bakers. I thought second place was, was Baker's, and I, I didn't even think that. I was 1,000% sure. Goes to show you, I'm not that smart. Literally not smart. Baker's came in last place after I just pumped it up a lot. Is that really Baker's? Wow, that, it's not the Baker's I remember. Tastes extra corny to me. And I think somebody actually called it. If you go up, when I was saying that it tasted really corny, I think somebody actually said, Bakers. They were smarter than me. Totally cool. <laughs> Ew. Bakers, what it maybe it's because, does anybody think it's because it's that low? Because it's that low for show? See how low? How low can you go? I loved that stuff until I tasted it blind. And then I did not like it. Okay. So, I guess Beagle Rare is better than Baker's. Beagle Rare better than Baker's. Say that 10 times fast. All right. In one, two, fourth place. In fourth place, I would imagine this has got to be Beagle Rare. It's got to be. In fourth place, is Beagle Rare. Fourth place is Beagle Rare. It's, it's better than that, that's for sure. How long has it been that low? Not, I mean, maybe a couple months. I don't know. Before my, um, Before my problematic live stream that lasted several thousand hours, I was drinking these down pretty rapidly. So I'd say that the Baker's hasn't been that low for that long, but probably a couple months. Now you just need one more patron to share bonus content. Yes, I will be sharing. I mean, yeah, there's got, I mean, I've got some bonus content ready to be shared. Just need one more patron. That's it, one more. Thank you for everybody who is that nice to send me money for doing this stupid stuff. 46 people in here? Oh, 
Gosh, I should tell a joke. I probably shouldn't. In third place, third place, 45, is E. And E is Weller Antique. Shit. Wow, okay. Um, what I just realized, I just, okay, I tasted that and I said it was giving me the, the thing on the tip of the tongue. It fizzles, it fizzles the tip of my tongue. And I thought that might be a weeder. I was right because super smart, super smart, so smart. I should go with my instincts more, which I did. That was a weeder. Bibbidi bibbidi. The big surprise here. The big surprise here. As a patron, I want to ride on the bus. Dude, if you come up to Michigan and you want to ride on the bus, it's basically free. And then you get this. You get this doing this. Have a good day. Yep. For free. Might even throw in a little bonus wink. You never know. You never know what you're going to get on the bus. You might sit and pee. You probably sit and pee. <laughs> As a patron, Jason, you can definitely ride on the bus. I will cover your Fair. Michael Klein says, I have an early flight tomorrow, bro. Great stream. Good night, my friends. Michael Klein, stick around for 70 more minutes while I reveal the next two. Just stick around for a couple more. That's all you got to do. But if you have to leave, Michael Klein, I love you. Be careful. And flying a plane is... Don't fly the plane. Ride in the plane. Ooh. Flying in a plane is safer than driving, so fly to the airport if you can. Okay, for Michael Klein, just so you know, Michael Klein, second place is A, which is peerless, which means 1920 is your winner. I had to throw it in there for Michael Klein to do it real quick, which was a surprise because I thought that peerless was gonna not be good. I thought peerless was coming down to the end, Michael Klein, you're the best. You're the bestest, baldest person I've ever seen. And you're you just you got a smile that's contagious. If you don't, if you were, I know. Okay, I was gonna say put it on your dating profile, but I hope you don't have one, because I'd be all over that like seven seconds. Yeah. So Peerless came in second place, which was a surprise. I thought Beagle Rare was gonna probably come in last, but I was a little bit like, hmm. Maybe Peerless will be last because I thought it tasted like corn. But the corny mother bugger was actually Baker's. Huh. Weird. Weird. And you know that I'm honest. This is... Honesty is... Uh, to be honest is to be... You should probably be honest. Just saying. I was pretty sure one of these was Beagle Rare, but I didn't bump it up because I wanted to bump it up. I wanted to be true. I wanted to be to throw it out there to be a true, a true uh, testament to see what it actually was in a blind flight. Ernmeister ADHD yelling, sit down, shut up. Not usually on the bus. Normally on the bus, pretty chill mode. The only time that I ever really got upset was a guy who was swearing and yelling and there was kids on the bus and I just said, I looked in the rear view and I said, I'm in a good mood today, guy. Let's not ruin that. And then I had to kick him off the bus because he ruined that. Stupid guy was drinking all day. Who, 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 he was enjoying alcohol. Too much. Too much, they say. Bourbon saying, are you on after this? What do you mean after this? This isn't going to end. 
This is so good. I really like it. 1920, of course. I thought it would be the winner. It was the winner. Peerless. Now we're going to do a little... Little charter, little charter mix roux. Little charter show. It's gonna blend them all together because why not? Blending them all together. Oh, we're gonna do a giveaway. I forgot. <sighs> um, how can I do this giveaway? What am I gonna give away? Give it away. Give it away now. Okay. Uh, last week I gave away. A sample of the Kentucky Owl because that was a gift to me and I want to share. Also, I have... Where is that thing? Oh, here. <clears throat> this is a Knob Creek. It is from Justin's House of Bourbon. It is... There, you can see it. I'll show it to you so you can see it. It is 15 years. It's a 15 year Knob Creek and it is delicious. The only reason I have this bottle is because I went into Justin's House of Bourbon after getting destroyed by a gigantic puddle of water. And Ryan Elvez made a call to his boss and said, boss, can we sell this obese gentleman one of the old Knob Creek picks? His boss said, sure. And that's how I got it. So. We're going to give away a sample of the 15-year Knob Creek, if that's something that you, that's up your alley. Something that you fancy. Something that you think you would enjoy. <sighs> and now we get to the point of, how am I going to decide how to give it away? This is the hardest part. This smells really good. This smells... A little nutty, a little fruity. Huh. Hmm. I like it a lot. I do, I like it a lot. Um, all right. The bourbon junkies are disqualified from this giveaway. If they would like a sample of this, I'll send it to them because I owe them, I owe them a lot. But you're disqualified, Bourbon Junkies. This is for everybody else. The first person to name the, the whiskey I'm talking about will win the sample of the 15-year Knob Creek. Uh, I sent Beagle Rare to the Bourbon Junkies. They enjoyed it. What bourbon did they add as the first addition to Beagle Rare? Go. Smells good. It smells so good. Pick me, pick me. Bourbon Lens. I pick you, Bourbon Lens. Bourbon Lens, who who do I got by the way? What uh which one of you dudes is it? Bro, I won't enter lol. I'm not taking a spot from someone. It's mighty kind of you, Dan, because if you were to do a giveaway, I'd be all over it. And if you told me I was disqualified, I'd send you hate mail through USPS. Mash and Drum says he's out too. Trev Wilson says he'll disqualify himself because he's won entirely too much. Is everybody just going to disqualify themselves? Because Tolf Thomas says Mayor Pingree, which is incorrect. Uh, the correct answer came from Nick Foles. Nick Foles, you're smart, you're beautiful, you followed Beagle Rare, and you knew that they added E.H. Taylor Barrel Proof. Heck yeah. Awesome. Nick Foles. Um, Nick Foles, if you're on Instagram, send me your mailing address, and I'll get you out a sample of the 15-year Knob Creek. If you're not on Instagram, I will enter my... It's, it's a long reach. Oh. Ugh. It's to reach over to the camera is difficult. Or to the computer, I should say. Uh, that is my email address. If you don't have Instagram, you can send me your 
your address on there. Uh, Fireshawn today at gmail.com. That's a direct line because, yes. Okay, so we're going to give this a shot. Congratulations, Nick. You're the best. You're awesome. Wow, that's actually... Ugh, okay. It started off way better than it finished. That's what she said. It was really good, and then that whole mixture, not that great. Come to find out, though, in Beagle versus the Field, Beagle beat Bakers, and he... Hey, Juliet Miranda's in the house. Hey, Juliet. High five. Thanks for coming in. Um, Juliet has a YouTube channel as well. I watch her live streams. She does like... Um... Oh, if I could think of the name of it, don't tell me because I will think of it. See how I just painted myself into a corner? Bourbon Soaked Live. That's what it's called. Nailed it. Nailed it again. With super glue. What was I saying? No idea. Oh, this tasted good and then it tasted bad. So I have um, a couple samples to get out. I have uh, from last week was Dustin's and then this week, Nick, I will send you out a sample of this. Oh, man, I don't want it like, I've been on for an hour and 23 minutes. It's time to go. I don't want to go, but I know that it's time. Because last time I told myself it wasn't time to go. And then I continued. It's bad news. I think we should probably end it here. Before, before it gets too crazy. Before it gets a little nutty. Um... If you are following Beagle Rare, the bottle is in the hands of It's Bourbon Night as we speak. You may have heard of them. You may have not have heard of them. A married couple, an old married couple, old and disgruntled. Their marriage is hanging on by a thread because they've been married for so long. Chad and Sarah. They have the bottle now. They, I'm not sure what they're going to do with it. It's a mystery. We'll see. They have the bottle now. After they are finished with the bottle and they post a video or a live stream, they are sending the bottle to iWhiskeyShe Wines. If you're not following them, they're a YouTube channel. I'm sure you already know. Um, subscribe to them. After iWhiskeyShe Wines, the podcast Bourbon Lens bourbon lens they're actually in chat right now bourbon lens um i listen to them on the uh the google podcast app but i'm sure they're on itunes and every other podcast app you can imagine the bourbon lens they're getting the bottle they're getting the bottle right before dixon deadman and i think i heard them saying in the past that they had something set up to maybe interview dixon and stuff so that's really cool but they're getting the bottle before right before Dixon. So if the bottle is bad, we're going to blame it on the Bourbon Lens podcast because you screwed it up. If it's delicious and the best thing ever, then we all did a tremendous job and Bourbon Lens just made sure they didn't screw it up. <sighs> uh, Sharder down ADHD fishing. That's a great idea. I'm going to go and I'm going to have an awesome, awesome weekend. I hope everybody else has a great weekend too. Um, Bourbon Lens has Spotify, uh, iHeartRadio, Alexa, and all others. Awesome. Hey guys, everybody, thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching. I literally never expected anybody to show up in these, these live streams. 42 people is pretty friggin' cool. Um, I don't know. Stay tuned to uh, for more videos we're going to be doing some some fun stuff in the near future and i don't know this is just weird 
It's weird, but cool. And thank you everybody for the support. My name is Matt. This is ADHD Fishing. Like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind on sharding it down when it's time to shard her down. And that's now. Have a good night, everybody. Take care. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week.